Hi, I'm Charlie Carey. I'm 16 year old and I'm in grade 11. I'm in an electrical and networking. My mom first told me about the course when she heard about it from a news article from the Durham District School Board, I'm pretty sure. And it sounded interesting to me and she said it was the only one in Durham. So I decided to sign up and try it out. I knew that I had a little bit of an interest in electrical and I just wanted to make sure that that would be a fun or an interesting job to do. I've learned how to calculate uh, voltage, amperage, ohms. I've learned how to hook up electrical wiring, how to wire up houses and service entrances, and also how hydropoles work. It's very exciting because I know through this uh, through the school in the last decade we've, we've put through lots of uh, commercial electricians, um, residential electricians as well as uh, power line technicians, and up to this point we haven't done an, we haven't done anything really to train them properly other than those employability skills. What I was using in the classroom is uh, basically having them first of all make up a wiring diagram, so a schematic that they could work from, so they had some kind of a plan. I wanted to make sure that they were understanding the flow of electricity. Uh, when it came time to check it, I went in and critiqued it as according to the electrical safety code, making sure that you know they had done the proper bonding on it, the insulation wasn't you know uh, too far in the box and everything else, and that uh, all of their connections were proper. And then we connected them to a 12 volt, and I just used a 12 volt incandescent bulb because that's what they, you know, they really want to see something happening after they put that all together. So then the students had to draw a layout and a design of how the wiring is going to go in each room got everything set up, everything ready to go for the next day. Then Kevin came in and added for rooms, put some plumbing in the way, uh, put some HVAC in the way. And then as the students came in the next day, ready to work, oh, so because the trade beat them to it. I would say my favorite project is wiring up our simulated house. The group I was with, we wired up a bathroom with a, a heated floor, a jacuzzi tub, light fixtures, and a bunch of, a uh, couple of, uh, outlets and that was just cool to learn. Each one of the of the rooms of the home there's a little sheet there and this is sort of what the customer wanted. In some cases if it wasn't something that could be done they needed to find it out through the electrical safety code what they had to do. I didn't completely keep them isolated but I wanted to start to see where and how they were going to tackle that. So once they had that all laid out and they wired it all in they had to make sure they got their proper feeds back to the panel and they had to do their tie-in in there as well. So it was a great experience I found that way because uh, a lot of them had never had this type of exposure before and uh, I was really surprised at how engaged they were. We were talking some really warm weather when we started out in here and normally as soon as the weather gets warm I typically will find in my afternoon classes that your numbers will tend to dwindle a little bit. I had over 90% of my students duel every day, if not 100% of them here. And when you walked in here, all in hard hats, all working, all participating in the entire program. I'm hoping to get in to see more industrial uses of electricity. We focused a lot on residential and uh, the larger scale electricity units are more what I'm looking for. My hope is, is to become a power line technician. Uh, we went to Hydro One's training center. It's, it seemed really cool, really interesting, and it just it looks like a lot of fun. We are giving them the uh, the, the hands-on skills, the practical skills, so that, that way when they go to work, if they do a co-op, if they go to a post-secondary, if they go to work for Hydro One, that 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 they aren't just uh, adequate in the class, but they're at the top of the class, and uh, and they can mentor even other students in the class. We want them. Not to, not to go out and, and be successful, but we want them to uh, be incredibly successful uh, in, in after graduating high school.